introducing first, to my left, fighting out of the blue corner, and weighing in at 82 kilos, the Wonder Kid, Johnny Stone! And introducing his opponent, Wrestling fans and welcome to night two of Pro Wrestling Noah's European Navigation 2011 here at the Wolfram Hall in Wolverhampton in the West Midlands of England. Twisted genius Dean Ayers at the commentary table alongside my broadcast colleague once more, Irish Stu Allen. We had a great night of action last night in Broxbourne Civic Hall and we have got a history making evening in prospect here. We're starting off with an intriguing rematch between pro wrestling Noah regular Ricky Marvin, one of Britain's best for many years, the wonder kid Johnny Storm. Indeed, Stu, these two met just the once before under Premier Promotions banner. Premier Promotions, a company based in the uh, south coast of England, use a, uh, a traditional British round system and this one was a one fall apiece eight round draw so plenty of pride at stake here the other thing worth bearing in mind is last night in broxbourne on night one friday the 13th proved to be unlucky for ricky marvin he was facing off with kataro suzuki and quite early on he appeared to injure i believe his knee or his groin doing a simple nip up of all things but it's going to be interesting to see how fully, how fully recovered is Ricky Marvin, and does Johnny Storm know? Absolutely. And you know, it's interesting to look back at that last match, the eight-round draw, as you said, in Premier Promotions. This is a completely different style. Absolutely. One four to a finish here. And Johnny Storm cranking on that arm. Good mat wrestling. You know, this is one of the things that people often say about Johnny Storm is that oh, he's all high flying, and you know he's proving here that it's not just about the high flying. Johnny Storm is a very, very proficient technical wrestler, as he is showing here. Oh, same story with Ricky Marvin as well. Started his career in CMLL. He's a luchador by trade, of course, wrestled a lot in Mexico. Obviously, yes, being Mexican, that's where he started out. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been in Noah really since 2005. That's where he made his home, and very much adapted to that style as well but he's got those lucha influences just like we saw there and of course johnny storm has wrestled in japan has indeed At the, uh, over there. i'm sorry this is sporadically got over there over the years yes indeed i do remember a balcony diver the blue can hold from mr storm Johnny's also wrestled in TNA, of course. Out over into the front face lock. Reversal out from Ricky Marvin. Front face lock of his own now. What's interesting here, you know, Ricky Marvin, as we said, renowned as a high flyer. And I'm not sure if it's because of that uh, knock he took yesterday, but so far this has been very much ground based. <laughs> Chris Roberts asking for a break there. And there you see, well there you see that, that fire and groin looks to be giving him trouble. But has Johnny Storm spotted it? That's the question, Stu. Yeah, Johnny Storm was not on the show last night, so he has not had a chance necessarily to know or to see that there was an injury last night. Plus being the first match on, you know, He's getting ready early. It's not like if you're later on the show, you can uh, talk to some people and get some. Oh! 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 
unbelievable head first. That's why they call it suicide dive, the two-piece suicide. And my word, Stu, this crowd has suddenly sprung to life. What a move out of the blue from Ricky Marvin. And we saw this last night as well after Marvin did suffer his injury. Came back very strongly. The adrenaline ran through the veins, blocked out the pain. He did some amazing stuff after the injury. Back in and cranking in that shin lock. Yep. Variation there, he could like, see rightly. He's getting the bony part of the forearm right across the eye and the, the nose. Storm also hit Storm's arms behind his legs. Backdrop. That will rattle your spine. Oh, that move, that drop kick connected. You could hear the impact right here at ringside, Stu. We saw a little bit of the Latino temperament of oh, Ricky Marvin coming out as well earlier on there. And again. And that was the, uh, the, the Essex temperament from Johnny Storm, I think. Cover there. You're not going to beat Johnny Storm like that. Certainly not. Oh, great move from the Storm Springboard Hurricane Rana. Here comes the Fantastic Four. And Ricky Marvin goes flying to the ringside area, Stu. And we've already seen Ricky Marvin take to the air. Johnny Storm indicating he wants to do the same. I think Ricky Marvin's about to get a flying receipt from Johnny Storm. Oh, there he goes. Spinning tornado dive over the top. After all those years of doing those moves, Johnny Storm still one of the most graceful flyers around. Referee Chris Roberts in the ring now, utilizing his count, and we will be utilizing, of course, pro wrestling Noah Rules here, a 20 count outside the ring rather than the American and British 10 counts. Slow to get into the ring as you might expect. Watch out, Storm with a rewind. Oh, the rewind Hurricane Rana. This could be all, though, just a two count from our referee, Chris Roberts. Classic offense from Johnny Storm. He might be calling for the Wonder World. This is his move. Ricky Marvin knew that was his move. Cover one, two. Yes, the two count. Modified Death Valley driver there from uh, from the Mexican. German suplex with the bridge. That's cover one, two. Again, just the two.
tied up in the ropes. Oh, big time clothesline from Ricky Marvin. Seem to be split here. A lot of Marvin chance, a lot of Johnny chance. Johnny Storm, one of the most endeared, popular wrestlers on the British circuit. Oh, beautiful, perfect storm from Johnny Storm. One, two, and just the two counts again. Ricky Marvin did well to kick out of that move, and Johnny Storm pounds the mat in frustration. Storm is slowly working through all of the big moves in his playbook. Stinging in Zagiri. Oh, and that leaves Johnny Storm hanging in a, a perilous position. Draped across the top rope and Ricky Marvin is intending to take full advantage of this. What in the world is he going for, Stu? Can't be going for a power driver, is he? A uh, part of me doesn't even want to know. I've known Johnny Storm a long time and something like this could end his career. Oh, Johnny Storm fighting for his wrestling life on that top rope. Shows their appreciation. Incredible maneuver from Storm. Making all sorts of trouble. These two men so evenly match, you can see why they went to a draw last time out. And again for the Wonder World. Ricky Marvin just hit the Wonder World. Yes, he did. Ricky Marvin hit Johnny Storm with his own finishing maneuver. Mind games, disrespect. He set him up again. Tried the big boot, missed. Grabbing on to referee Chris Roberts. There's a cover, he's got hits. And that's, that's it! it. Well, we said they're evenly matched, and it took a scramble of reversals. And eventually, it was Ricky Marvin managing to cradle that leg of Johnny Storm to stop him kicking out the one it. But my words, you know, that's the opening match, and what a match it was. The last two nights in a row, and Ricky Marvin has opened the show proper. Oh my goodness, has he impressed both times? A war round of applause. Ricky Marvin again underlines his credentials. One of the best junior heavyweights in the planet. Indeed, Johnny Storm hung in there with him to the very end. But Ricky Marvin got the all-important three count. We've had two tremendous performances from that man. You're